My husband started divorce proceedings and he doesn't even want to talk to me. I don't know how or even if I can fix any of this. He has said he would come and talk to me the last three days, but he hasn't showed up. I can't blame him. I hurt him so badly. I broke him, my family, my children, myself, and I wish so much I could take their pain away and just disappear. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. So, guys, this story, I've read the husband's perspective before. Um, in the link below, I'm going to tell you. So, if you haven't heard this entire story before or anything, check, it out. check out this story. Take a listen to this story now. But if you want, um, go down to the description, click the link, and it'll take you to a story I did before, which is the husband's perspective of of this in this whole situation. Um, pretty interesting, good story. Um, I think eventually I'll I'll just put it all together and make like a playlist for it. But um, you guys can go ahead and check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So. By my own hand, pain, Reddit. I ruined everything for nothing. Oh, boo hoo. I don't really know where to begin. I have destroyed my family. My husband is leaving me and my children don't even want to be in the same room. My sister suggested I post here to maybe get some advice. It took a lot of effort to even type this out. I have been crying for weeks and I found that I was lying to myself, trying to make myself look better in this story. What hope is there when I can't even be honest to just me, all alone, by myself? I am in a terrible state, so this is a bit all over the place. Sorry about the wall of gibberish in advance. I am 38-year-old female, my husband 39-year-old male. We have four children, 15 to 8 years old, and we have been together since I was 16, married 18 years. I had an affair. It felt great for a while. Now in hindsight, I know it was all a delusion, a fantasy. Now I am so ashamed I don't know the words to even describe it. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. Everybody hates me, including my own sister, who is the only person that would take me in. My sister is also a cheater, by the way. Her fiancé left her for it. Still, she yells at me constantly, telling me what a piece of crap I am. She found out about my affair early on. She warned me that I was on a path to disaster if I didn't stop immediately and come clean. I was too selfish and too stupid to see that. I was too wrapped up in myself to listen to her, so I refused to stop. She, in return, cut me out of her life until she picked me up. My husband started divorce proceedings, and he doesn't even want to talk to me. I don't know how or even if I can fix any of this. He has said he would come and talk to me the last three days, but he hasn't showed up. I can't blame him. I hurt him so badly. I broke him, my family, my children, myself. And I wish so much I could take their pain away and just disappear. All I do is stay in bed, staring at the ceiling, hating myself. Whenever it is quiet, it feels like my heart is trying to escape from my chest. I get panic attacks where I struggle to breathe. I am hardly able to eat. Whenever I fall asleep, in my nightmares, I see my husband's pain and him looking at me without love in his eyes. The therapist I have been seeing believes this may be started for me my for me about three years ago. My best friend from school died suddenly from cancer. She never married. She was a partner in a law firm and had an extravagant lifestyle. I have always admired her. I have an okay career in marketing and have been a stay-at-home mom for long periods when our children were small. The time at home with my children 
was the best time of my life. For some reason, I started to re-examine my life when my friend died, especially what I hadn't done. I became very critical of myself. I started feeling inadequate. My self-esteem plummeted. I had only ever been with my husband and I started to resent him for it, like he had denied me romance and experiences or something. In reality, I twisted it around in my head. It was me that actually pursued him. I was the one that wanted marriage and a family. I felt like I should have done better with my life, experienced more, done more. Somehow I managed to blame myself for it all. I don't actually talk to him about it. Deep down, I knew it was just stupid. Still, I grow resentful, and gradually over time, I would push my husband away. I had no reason at all to feel this way. I had a loving, attentive husband, happy, healthy children, a good job, great sex life, hobbies, good health, nice vacations, friends, great extended family, good economy. My life was wonderful by most measures. Of course, I wasn't perfect, but who is? My younger sister got engaged around this time. She had been a bit of a party animal growing up and her fiancé was wonderful. I became jealous of her, like her life had been better than mine somehow. My sister cheated on her fiancé before they got married, and he left her. She was devastated. She has told me that it's her biggest regret, but it's only now that the shoe is on, is on my foot that I understand her. Somehow I got obsessed with her cheating. I started having fantasies about it, dreaming about it. So about seven months ago, I started to respond to flirting from a younger married co-worker. It turned into an emotional affair almost immediately. I loved the attention. He knew just what to say somehow. The first two months was a whirlwind, so exciting, a massive rush. During this time, I neglected my husband and my family. I would deny my husband intimacy and I treated him very poorly. Somehow I managed to resent him for what I was doing. I blamed him for the guilt I was feeling. Looking back, I clearly see how much I hurt him. I saw the pain on his face. Pain I so easily ignored at the time. I remember how hard he tried to win me back. But at the time, I somehow managed to justify in my mind that, that what I was doing was right was my right. I deserve it. In my mind, everybody should just be happy for me. I managed to convince myself that I was entitled to this affair, that it was good for me, and that nothing else mattered. It turned from an emotional to a physical affair at around two months. The sex was mediocre at best. My AP was a very selfish lover. When it turned physical, the excitement I felt during the emotional affair emotional affair started to slowly die off. I kept the affair going. I wanted that initial excitement back, but the more but the more time I spent with the AP, the less I felt that initial rush. We never had a real or deep emotional connection. It was just pretend. Still, I actually believed I loved him. I was also starting to feel more and more guilty for what I was doing. I took it out on my husband. Somehow I managed to blame him for how I felt and was, I, and was absolutely terrible to him. Then I felt guilty for that, blamed him for that too, and treated him even worse because of it. Around two months into the physical affair, I noticed a drastic change in my husband's behavior. He stopped trying to initiate intimacy. He stopped all the little things he used to do for me. He used to leave love notes around for me to find. Normally, he would be going out of his way to make me laugh or smile. He used to kiss and hug me all the time and make this little joyful sound when he did so. He stopped including me in his life. He would not even engage me in a conversation. He used to make my favorite meals on the days I had to work late. Now he didn't even make a plate for me when he made normal dinner. He would only make food for himself and the kids. I tried arguing with him about it, but he just left the house without even saying a word. I didn't want to accept it. I was in denial. But I know now that he had completely disconnected from our relationship already. The affair with AP deteriorated quickly after that. Still, it continued for almost, a, for almost over a month before I finally broke it off with my AP. Strangely enough, I had any desire to 
have any more contact with him, I started going to individual counseling. My therapist pretty much spelt it all out for me. Still, it didn't sink in. I refused to come clean. I started to desperately try to reconnect with my husband. I was still in total denial. I managed to convince myself that if I acted like the perfect wife, he would come back to me. My husband showed me no interest at all, but he would come around eventually, I told myself. I believed the crushing guilt would go away if I could, could, could reconnect with my husband. I believed we would return to normal, stronger than ever. He would never know the full truth of my betrayal. I would dress up the way he likes, spotlessly clean the house, try to initiate, cook his favorite food, anything I could think of. Nothing worked. Even if I tried to just touch his hand, he would pull away from me. My husband would barely look at me. He would spend a lot of time out of the house. When I tried to talk to him, in most cases, he wouldn't even respond. If he answered at all, it would be along the lines of, I don't care. Then he would just leave. Deep down, I know I had lost my husband. I just refused to accept it. Before this, whatever he looked at me, there was always this tremendous amount of love in his eyes. He would rest his eyes on me for long periods of time and just lovingly smile. Now whatever I look at his eyes, the love was gone, and he would barely even glance at me. Still, I managed to convince myself that we would be all right. Still, I hadn't started to cry. A few weeks ago, my husband was in the kitchen when I came home. He was smiling for the first time in a long time. I sat down, and the rest of the conversation is actually a bit blurry. But I found out my husband knew about the affair almost the entire time. At the end of his speech, he told me we should divorce in such a way that he clearly expected me to enthusiastically want a divorce as well. The reality of my actions crashed in on me all at once. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't see clearly. I just couldn't form coherent thoughts or sentences. I don't know how long I sat there babbling, but my sister came and picked me up. She was talking to me in the car. I don't actually know what she said. I think I was in shock. Some days after that, my husband came to talk to me. I had been desperately reading online about ways to fix a marriage after infidelity. I had, I had even prepared a full written confession and a timeline for him. I offered him everything, a post up 100% in his favor, full access to everything, anything he wanted at any time, anything at all, if he would just stay with me. He took the timeline, but he didn't even want to read it. I confessed everything, and for a second I saw the pain flash across his face again. The same pain that I had so easily ignored so many times during the affair. Even that little flash was unbearable to me. I could see that he was clearly hiding this pain from me. This hurt me even more. He was still being courteous and fair with me, even though I didn't deserve any of it. Sitting there, I finally had to accept that there was no longer love for me in his eyes. The only thing I could see was, was distrust and disappointment. As he argued with me, I could no longer deny that this was all my fault. I had broken my husband's trust. I had broken him. He used to be kind, considerate, open, full of jokes. This new man in front of me that I created, he was somber, an emotional brick wall, a man that only cared about moving on. He explained in excruciating detail how badly I hurt him, how he would never be the same. Without even blinking, he told me that the love he once had for me had died, killed by my choices. He wanted to start dating. He even has a woman in mind. He didn't want to cheat like me, so he wants to divorce as soon as possible. I can't really understand how I managed to mess up my life so badly. I have destroyed my family and now my children will have to suffer through divorce and the pain of growing up in a broken home. At some point after that, I fell unconscious and I woke up in the hospital. My sister was there. My husband was not. That devastated me even more. When I came to, I started calling everyone, confessing what I had done. I called the AP's wife, his parents, our friends, my, my employer. I resigned as well. Basically, I called everyone I could think of. Everybody hates me now, and I deserve it. 
Still my husband isn't talking to me. I destroyed my family. Broke the love of my life. Traumatized my kids. And for what? Some cheap thrills? I don't understand how I could do this. Can I get my husband to talk to me? How can I even ask him to do that? How can I ever face my children again? What do I even say to them? I desperately want to repair this, but how could I even start? Is it even possible? I am completely lost. I don't know what to do. I don't see any way out. There's nothing you can do. It's over. It's over. He knew the whole time. Wow. And you know what? This man, he actually... So him knowing the whole time, he actually was willing to make things work in the very beginning. Because I think in the very beginning, you were saying how he was trying to initiate and, you know, trying to get you, you know, set things right with you guys and everything. But you just kept saying no, you kept backing off and cheating and doing, getting it in with this guy that you didn't even like the bedroom action with this person. You just did it just because you needed to destroy something. You needed some chaos. Things were going too good in your life. Hey, things weren't perfect like you said, but they were great. They were doing, you were doing good, but you had to ruin it. As if he forced you into a marriage, you wanted to marry him. You wanted the family. You said, and how do you repay him? Him sacrificing everything and going in and working hard for you and the kids. You repay him by having, a, having an affair. Ridiculous. I don't feel bad for you. No one should feel, feel bad for you. You should suffer for what you did. Let's check out these comments. Someone said, this made me happy. I love your pain. It makes me laugh. I know the story from your husband's per perspective and have to say, reading it from yours is even harder. Not because of you, your suffering, but rather because of how little you cared when you saw your husband in pain during your affair. In my opinion, a marriage is built on love, trust, and respect. If your husband will ever be interested in you again, it's something no one can tell you. But if you want to fight, then you have a tough uphill battle to fight before because you will have to do things that might seem unlogical for you. Start with working on showing him that you can respect him again by accepting whatever he tells you. You felt something was wrong with your husband, but still continued the affair. It's the perfect example of you are not sorry for the affair, but that you are taught by your soon to be ex-husband. The result of feminist influences on marriage and society. You also obviously hate your kids and your husband. You wouldn't have cheated no matter how you were feeling if you didn't hate them. You snake. Dang. I have a genuine question. Did you really not think about the consequences? Did you not foresee the future? Nothing is free. That was one costly affair. Now pay the price. Absolutely. Wow, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like I said, guys, I've done the husband's perspective before. Um, I never got around to doing the wife's perspective. Uh, but I, I, re I remember the husband's perspective. Um, and you guys can check it out here. And then I, and the way I found out was through the comments here. Someone had mentioned uh, the video I did. Um, but you guys can check it out. Like I said, um, I, I linked the story I did of the husband's per perspective. So if you want to hear his side and how he tells it and from his point of view, it's pretty interesting. Um, go ahead and check it out. But you guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I will catch you guys at the next one.